<sighs> Alright, so I don't know if this counts for a second video, but I promised you two solutions and I only gave you one talking about this. So, uh, going back to what I was saying about the um, tricks of the trade to get high quality audio. If you're doing them in person, Zoom device is the way to go. Now, you can upgrade from these, like I said, the H6 is what I'm going to be moving up to. Uh, there's more bells and whistles as you go. But this, they all do basically what this one does. I think they're around 150, 200 bucks. Um, and you can get ones that have, basically create your own little radio station with sound effects and all kind of cool stuff, which is way outside my league, way outside my comfort zone. But this little guy, um, you don't gotta do anything but turn them on. So that's, uh, I love this little piece of equipment, lifesaver. So. That being said, if you're not doing in-person interviews, if you're doing them over Skype or Zoom or one of those platforms, um, you can always tell. The quality of the audio on Zoom and on any of those platforms is not good because you're having to rely on an internet connection and a lot of times a crappy internet connection like the one I have right now. Uh, but there's a new service out there and it's called Squadcast. And Squadcast is, you, does the exact same thing that Zoom does, does the exact same thing that Skype does, maybe not with all the bells and whistles, but what makes it different than all the rest is it direct records at the source. So it's directly recording from your microphone. And whoever the other person is on the other line, it's direct recording from their microphone. So any bad connections, any Wi-Fi mess ups or hang ups, any statics, a lot of static, a lot of that stuff gets, almost all of that stuff is completely eliminated when you do it through that direct source recording. Uh, you don't talk over one another nearly as much. Uh, it's just a really, really great service. And the great thing about it is when it's all said and done, if you use it right, and if you get everything set up the way that it needs to be done, you really can't tell. You cannot tell that you're not in person. And that's the first service that I've seen to offer something like that. That was the whole reason why I started the podcast and did it in person was I insisted on that high quality audio. Um, and uh, Squadcast came along right in the nick of time when coronavirus forced us into a, into a different format. They were a perfect solution. Now, I say perfect, they've been an ideal solution. Um, last week I interviewed their co-founder, Rockwell Felder. Um, really, really neat guy, an amazing guy to talk to. We had an amazing interview really enjoyed our conversation and I went to compress the audio and download everything and when I did the something screwed up and it was probably something I did it's not probably even anything wrong with their software but for some reason um, my recording side of the conversation is all warped and uh, sounds all kind of real bassy and out of like almost like it's in slow motion so I say Squadcast is awesome but I'm still working through that solution but uh, far and away, the most superior recording uh, system out there if you're going to be doing these things virtually. So, Zoom if you're local, Squadcast if you're not. Um, forget about Zoom and uh, Google Meeting or Meetups or what, all those other ones. They, they're all based on the same premise and they don't give you what you get with Squadcast. So, that's my spiel. So, hopefully, that was something that is informative or useful to you if you're looking at doing a podcast and I'm going to try to come up with something for tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, thanks for your time and we'll see you tomorrow.